now it's time for the resources and adding the cost and every other items the system is the same so we would add the cost and generate an S curve and we will see the selling price how it works for each and every activity especially for the construction we're not going to add man hours the labor and the material we are going to add the cost for each and everything I prefer to add it as a resource so first add the cost of each and every activity what should you look for you should always look for the POQ bill of quantities the priced one this is an example of the POQ it's not detailed as you see that there is another language here this language indicates the different because the project is in a country with Arabic country so that's why it shows Arabic language right here so as you see that there is the main guard room and you are reading only the description of this project it's only one line item which is not the perfect at all you should have one for finishing one for facade one for GRC you should have several line items for this one this one alone could have let's say about 100 line items to describe each and every activity so in such cases if it's not that clear you would go to your commercial department cost control department or seek help for getting the prices for your activities so when we send the activities to the cost control the selling price are as following so as you see the selling price if you see each and every one if you add it all this one and this one is different this one and again this one it would give you 331.992 which is equal to 300.991.992 so in Chat's case what should you do you have everything ready and clear it's crystal clear for you nothing more for you to do you just check and make sure that where is the huge amounts this seems normal fine but see this is one activity 63 revise it the f f and e go back to the project f f and e you might make it more and miscellaneous f f and e miscellaneous finishes for any other item that you might forgot you might even increase the duration to accommodate such changes and as you see here now it does make some sense and this takes time yeah for sure it doesn't take much time but it is for sure it's very expensive for the facade works and this is almost minimal so I have got an idea of the prices doesn't matter what what's the price is or whatsoever pounds or dollars whatsoever we are discussing the resources and how we are going to allocate these resources on our schedule here and we have even made a small change to our schedule even because we might revise it because we have discovered that it might need more time for the miscellaneous finishes this is dashed for an example so now what should we do in such case in such case I would prefer to make special resource for this project and I would call it value or selling price let's see how how to create resource you should go to the enterprise resources as you go you can there is no more you would create totally different resource for you so let's create a new one the resource ID whatever you want to name it I would name it GR the resource name I would name it must be unique okay guard okay I'll keep it the same I would make test the selling price next I would use it non-labor because it's actually non-labor it's not people it's not supplies then we we might make it's one per day why we would make it one per day because we are going to add you're going to see it now no more rules 
select yes existing calendars we would use the guard room calendar and it compute actuals next finish so here it is but we want it to be alone actually wanted to see it first it's a little bit messy here i want to see it first as you see we would make it zero zero one for the sake only to see it first so as you see here it's very clear so you might add other so now we have made it one for the details you're going to see general selling price the name and each and everything codes if you want to add codes details it's non labor why do currency dollar over time is not allowed maximum unit price one per day why because we are going to assign these as the budgeted quantity as you're going to see right now rolls notes progress debutter blah 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 so now let's go back to our main activities and we need to assign resources for such activity we would go to the resources tab and add resource we are going to add this one and done so in shots case if we make this 48 it's automatically 48 what we are going to we need we needed seven nine six eight exactly seven nine six eight i want to show you this because whenever you are going to show the column of units you need to show the planned value budgeted non-labor units let's say yep and here it is it's seven nine thousand six hundred eight but we also need to see the remaining the planned value check where is the planned value is or you can even control f plant and check where it is Plant start, plant value cost, plant value labor units, plant value. What else? I'm just looking for your own sake. And where can we find? So there's a lot of plant values. We don't need all of this. So we are going to use in the earned value. We are going to use the plant value cost, which is zero dollars here why it's zero while you added the seven nine six eight and the price per unit is one per day that's a little bit messy so how do you want to make this one more but are you sure that we are in the right columns let's go to the earned value columns here and make sure i'm just like exploring exploring with you guys to see what might even go wrong we need to seize the earned value cost. What else? Why the plant value cost is zero? What do you think the earned value cost would be? Zero. The earned value cost would be zero because there is nothing planned in this state. Because there is no baseline. You didn't assign a baseline here. There is no baseline. It's only the current project. And you didn't update. So how to see the actual cost? So you would go to the earned value. How do you think we achieve? Which one should we choose? Budget completion, actual cost. Actual cost would also be zero. What do you think should we use? Schedule performance, schedule variance to complete. Do you think we should use any of these items? What can we use in such case? What if we go to the general? There's nothing as well to choose. So what? But units. Budgeted labor units. Remaining labor units. As well, there is nothing. So why there is no cost here? It's really messy. What do you think? This is budget non-labor, and there is no cost here. The earned value, 
budgeted at completion. Move. What do you think? It's 996. Is Does this make sense? 996. What do you think? Estimate to complete. To complete performance index. How to show it? Yeah, so hard. You remember, you forgot about costs. <laughs> so from here, you would show budgeted non-labor cost. Chat case, here's it. So why the budgeted non-labor cost is showing 996? Chat case, you should go to the resources, selling price, units and prices. It's right, eight per day. You should make it as well, eight per day, not one, because to make it the same, Let's see. Okay. Recalculate. Run. Recalculate the changes. Price per unit. It's not changed here. Wow. Why it's not changing? We would make it 8 per day. And let's recalculate the resources. Tools, apply actions. Should we lever the resources? What should you do now? What do you think? See, that's a little bit hazy. What should you do in such cases? Okay, that's a good idea to see the options here. Retained logic, let's keep this for the end. Fonts, calculate multiple. So, what do you think we can use? nothing so how to show the real cost i'll keep this question with you till the next lecture